See, so we enter our pieces inside. You can see we have our mountains, we have the mask and other things. Next, I want to do it is start assemble together. This is our clouds we did before in Torn Map it. I want to put it with mountains right here, but I don't want them kind of going over these clouds. So what I'm going to do it is just probably use this as a canvas. So let's just copy this, make white screen, and I'm just go to image and we'll get a canvas size and you see we have it uh, HD and I'm just going to make square for now. So in this case I can after shrink and readjust and resize it, but it's giving me a little bit room to work. Okay, let's look right here. We have it our mountain that is a basic mountain channels and what I want to do it is take this mountain and copy but I want to utilize okay with my alpha I want to take this alpha map and apply it to uh, my image so what I'm going to do it is control a control C copy all of this okay next we're going inside let's go channel let's create new layer and we'll just paste alpha on this one Okay, right now you notice we have channel alpha so we can click and select this can copy and just paste inside let's move up and right here we have it, our kind of mountain selected okay you notice right this small edge right here if we look we still have it something rework but it's something give it us beginning for our uh, <coughs> mountain. Um, also, till one right here, and you know what? Let's look on this one. You see, right here we have it, kind of elements that creating um, pattern. Kind of, we can see all us adjustments. So I want to take this and readjust, uh, remove them. Kind of maybe. Um, Rework and normally probably it's what happened now when I look closer it is what says to world instead parametric so and this is where mask applied but it's actually very good it's here so I can modify it and show how you can fix it some imperfection for this we'll go create duplicate this layer you can press ctrl G we'll go to filter noise and we'll go to dust and scratches and notice right here if we look on elements with dust and scratches we can actually make very smooth we start losing some of details but we'll go to bring them back so let's click ok and then next I want mask that together so press alt hold down go over and we'll set the clipping mask now for our layer next let's go create mask for the clipping layer and control I to inverse you'll see it's going back now to this and next I want to just take my brush be sure it's hardness zero we'll say smaller size and we'll set opacity to maybe around 10 and you can start paint in maybe you know maybe 20 but right here it's take a little bit time but you can see you can start painting in those places where you want it you know in some case like right here I maybe want to paint a little bit more let's create nice this smooth snow effect uh, you know what let let me show other things so we can let's set bigger 30 so I can just go faster till we do this tutorial but you're losing details and here's interesting things I'll show how we can preserve some of those details back from our masking overall I don't know if I want to because it's kind of close up will look very nice smooth snow effect okay so right here for example we kind of applied okay got this effect done a little bit to this okay next um, Okay, let me zoom out. Okay, a little bit right there. So let's create one more layer like this. We'll go on top. And this layer, what I want to do, it is um, 
preserve some of that map the some of the lighting we created and apply mask as a soft light let's go to image adjust black and white and on black and white it's almost white what I want to do is just bring some of the shadows back we go image adjust and we'll go to um, shadows I like so we'll bring flatten them a little bit more notice we'll bring the grid back so what we want to do it's a filter blur then blur and bring maybe about right here and let's set this to the soft light so right here you can see just add slightly torch on those areas so we can let's add it to the layer and you can just slightly adjust this is in case if you want preserve a bit more details but overall I think I kind of like it this um, look a bit darker but again how I said before if you um, maybe I need to paint a little bit more with this and we can do this by 50% gray let's mask together set to the soft light okay and we can actually reduce brush set maybe to the 10% black okay and we can just start painting a little bit more these lines in on the snow so just kind of and I'm using mouse you can use the Vicom pad actually you know what maybe I should switch to my Vicom pad but overall just want to show you right here some details so you can see we kind of start painting those shadows okay I'll come back to this let me group this together and I'll work a little bit more in a second I maybe even replace this but for now this is one so let's go ahead and look on another mountains that we have currently so this is position one way okay we also have it and I'll probably just remove some of them okay this can be our far away mountain okay just preview over all mountains what we have so far okay um so let's do this one let's take um we'll do this mountain first okay and this is our fourth so right here our four we're going to let's go to select copy paste okay number four we'll go channel create alpha channel paste select make selection Okay, and now we can go drag. I think I drag the wrong one, so we'll just delete that one. Okay, right here we'll just Okay, yep, yeah, that is the right one. Okay, this is a mountain. I think I may be putting them on a the back somewhere around this area okay I can go disable these ones okay this is our main valley mountain I'm just going to select just same things apply mask to this go to remove this one as well you don't need to remove I'm just doing this so it's kind of a little bit um, easy to go over them okay let's go create another channel I 
to uh, close it, I think, five. So let me go open this five one. Okay, yeah, that one. Okay, so we'll close that one. And just one more. Okay, at this point we can go ahead and start kind of ordering, put it in order these um, mountains we have it. So we had our first, and here is become um, kind of uh, what you like it, which way you like to put your mountains or adjusting. Okay, so we can go and try placing as well. Um, don't worry too much about skies because I'm probably going to readjust but also the depth we don't have here. Um, in some cases what you can do if you prefer to see the depth you can say gray color and just almost add so you can see a little bit depth on your subject so you can duplicate it. You just kind of not total trick, but it's help you to see depth if you want it. We won't use those layers, but it may help you to say, okay, this is a little bit more far away. This one is maybe going around somewhere like right here. Now we'll bring a little bit up. So kind of readjusting and um, adding. So that one will go around here. You know what, let's go to rotate just slightly. And we'll bring this one maybe closer. somewhere like right here so just overall you can see you can start already kind of have an idea how to place them um, right I don't know right here maybe something um readjust so let's go to any transform and I want it's one thing when I say you can um, maybe create a little bit bigger or smaller so when you start scale up or down you don't lose so much resolution in um, when you're creating okay, let's go to scale that one as well notice we have some other on our end so I'll just put it right around here let's take this one on the end and actually what you know what let's move this is will be my distance so this will be more far away the farthest ones so we'll do like right here we'll take um, this is our closest so we'll bring right here and this is where the person may be kind of walking around. Um, this mountain, um, I just, I probably if I put it something, I may be putting around here, but again, you know what, um, this may help a little bit more, even see or distinguish. Again, I will do this with clouds. This is gray layers, it just to preview so they help see this depth of the screen and again when you're done you can go ahead just readjust but overall right here kind of help you to see what's going on again we can let me just disable this is color we're going 
and with the clouds what I said before we can go oops let me this one and we can a little bit readjust them maybe not so we can bring clouds kind of more up right maybe around this area and that's help us to create better look so overall um, nice adjustments let's go in the next what I'm going to do it's now to add a little bit more of the cloud let's bring um, we will create some depth on this one I'm not sure if I still well I kind of like this snow look so maybe we'll keep it a little bit or add more fog add right building somewhere around and add more characters see which one to work and we'll do this in the next portion of this tutorials